Hello everybody and welcome to the latest episode of Portal to Profits. In today's episode we will be taking a look at five of the brightest sectors in India where you can invest in for the long term. When you are investing in stocks for the long term, the first critical factor to check is the lifespan of the product or service offered by the company. The product should be in use for at least 10 to 15 years in the future. The last thing you want is that people do not need the product anymore and the company runs itself out of business. Further, if you want to make good profits from stocks in the long term, then make sure that you are investing in the growing sectors. Few sectors in India like utility, mining, etc were good in the past as they were growing at a decent pace at that time. However, these sectors will hardly grow any more in the future compared to the speed which they will need to go to keep up with the new competitors. On the other hand, a few industries like technology, machine learning, renewable energy, electric vehicles and many other are growing at a rapid rate. And in this episode we are going to discuss five of the best sectors for long term investment in India for consistent returns so stay tuned and listen to the entire episode to understand more the first sector we will be looking at is information technology the 20th century was the era of manufacturing from the 1990s to the 2010s it was time for the internet boom and currently it's time for information As a general matter of fact, IT companies are growing at a much faster rate compared to manufacturing companies, and obviously skilled employees in the information technology industry are earning a lot more than those in traditional industries. There are many factors that are boosting the growth of industries like technological advancements, economic needs, the Indian government taking beneficial decisions like digital India and many other factors. Considering these factors, the information technology industry can be assumed to continue to grow and hence IT stocks can be treated as the best sector for long term investment in India. A few of the major players in the IT industries are TCS, Infosys, Wipro, HCL, Tech Mahindra and a few others. These companies have already established a good brand value and created huge wealth for their shareholders. Nevertheless, these companies can still be considered as a safe bet for long term investing. However, if you want fast growing stocks with good upside potential, the mid cap IT industry stocks are an amazing fit. for long term investment in india the second sector we'll be looking at today is the fmcg sector will the people still be using soaps shampoos surf oil and etc 10 to 15 years from now what do you think i think these things will still be in use fmcg is the most defensive sector for long term investment in india Most of the products in this industry have been used by people for over 100 years and yet will be continued to use in the future. Few FMCG companies like Hindustan Unilever, Dabur, ITC, Nestle are common names in Indian households. The majority of the people living in Indian cities and towns have been using their products for a very long time. Unlike many sectors that follow the contraction and expansion cycle, the products offered by FMCG industries will always be in demand. During a recession or economic crisis, people might not buy a new automobile. They might avoid investing in real estates and other places. But because FMCG products are basic necessities, their demand won't decrease. In the past few years, these companies have also started growing in the indian rural market earlier people in the rural market did not use the products of fmcg companies however this trend has changed and these days people in the rural areas tend to use products from fmcg companies hence these companies have very good growth opportunities in these areas if you are looking for a safe industry to invest in then the fmcg industry is one of the best sectors for long term investment in india the third sector we'll be looking at is the housing finance companies india is a growing country and housing finance companies or nbfcs are going to play a huge role in the growth story of india This is easily one of the best sectors for long term investment in India. Unlike major public sector banking companies in India, housing finance companies are performing well 
for the past many years and will continue to do so. They have actually low NPAs and when compared to PSU banks, a few major players in the industry can be HDFC, LIC Housing Finance, India Bulls Housing Finance and DHFL. Number 4 are automobile companies. According to a CNBC report, the world's fleet of electric vehicles grew 54% to about 3.1 million in 2017. The forecasted number of electric vehicles on the road around the world will hit 125 million by 2030. It is safe to say that the world, along with India, will run on electric vehicles by the year 2030. Therefore, if you are futuristic and want to invest in the best sectors for long-term investments in India, you might not want to miss out on this revolution. Now, if you studied electric vehicles, you will find a few important parts that will make EVs or batteries, braking systems and microcontrollers. Of course, other routine auto parts like bodies, tires, driving systems are also involved, but these three are critical. For making electric vehicles successful, batteries should be powerful and efficient to run long distances without discharging. Different companies are already working to improve technology of existing lithium-ion batteries. Apart from lithium, aluminium is another metal that will play an important role. Aluminium will be used in car structures as they are an excellent conductor. To summarize, here are a few of the companies that will be playing a crucial role in the electric vehicle revolution. When it comes to batteries, companies like Amar Raja, Exide Industries and Everready will play an important role. And when it comes to metals, Graphite India, Hindustan Copper, Vedanta and Hindalco will play an important role. And obviously auto companies like Tata Motors, Maruti Suzuki, TVS Motors, Hero Motor Corp, Bajaj Auto and many other will play an important role. And finally, the fifth sector we will be looking at is the infrastructure sector. When you go to a developed country, what is the first thing you notice? Big buildings, towers and flyovers, right? For a growing country like India, the growth in infrastructure is the fastest. You might have already noticed that the continuous work in building new airports, railway stations, metros and other such structures. Infrastructure companies are the key players in growing countries and hence it is obvious that this sector will perform very well in the long term in India. A few major players in this sector are LNT, Adani Ports and GVK Infra. Long term investment in consistent companies can help you build great wealth to secure your future. Many large cap companies like Infosys, Wipro, Hindustan Unilever etc have amazingly rewarded their shareholders. As an intelligent investor, it makes much sense to invest in the growing sectors for the long term in India. Nevertheless, an important lesson to learn here is that not every growing sector is going to give you amazing returns. For example, the airline industry started growing at a good pace in the 1970s. It was considered revolutionary as people argued that it will change the course of the entire transportation sector. And obviously people were investing heavily in airline companies. Although the industry did not grow a lot in the past 50 years, however hardly any airline stock in India gave consistent returns or became huge multi-baggers. Therefore while selecting the best sectors for long term investment in India, the best approach is to diversify and allocate funds in different sectors that you believe will grow. By doing so, you will minimize your downside and maximize your upside. Well, that's all for today's episode. I hope that you have taken immense value from this one. Do stick around, do stick around because the next episode is right around the corner and you do not want to miss it. Thank you for listening.